gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Iris House Executive Director, Miss Ingrid Floyd. Brilliant 
articulate and passionate. And tonight she's in like a badass dress, so I'm sort of like, okay. So she's impossible to follow, um, but I am I'm going to be uh, very brief. I wanted to thank you all for coming this evening. Uh, it's a privilege to have made it um, 25 years in up and down economies and in um, government and local budgets of COP. So we are deeply appreciative for all of your support. Uh, and in particular, we are appreciative to our platinum sponsors, uh, Vive Healthcare, Orshore Technologies, and, uh, and uh, Suki Wagner, who you will hear from in a moment. So thank you again. We wouldn't be here without you. Uh, to the current, I can't see a thing, but to the current board members in the room, if you could please stand. I think there are four present tonight. I think we have Dr. Teresa Mack.
organizations across the world. She's um, including the schools in the Trans Sky and rural districts in South Africa. She's also on the board of School Letter, where she's provided more than 180,000 books. Um, and the, the Bella School, which prides itself in teaching its students how to think, how to not be spoon-fed, and that's very much how Suki has worked over the years. She, as I said, she was one of the founding board members of Iris House and saw the need right away and helped really structure how Iris House was originally set up 25 years ago. She served on the board of Wheaton College in Massachusetts for, the, for about 10 years in North Massachusetts. And she's also been involved in the World Wildlife Fund, where she and her late husband, an international banker, who also played an integral role in how we were able to structure, put together, and continue to work with Iris House. Um, for a number of years. And she also sits on the board of Robert College of Istanbul, Turkey, and the Colbert Land Conservancy. I have to say, Suki was an integral part of getting us a board president, Katie, who really took a long look at how Iris House was working, what worked, what didn't work, and was an integral part of us getting Ingrid, which has been a really good part of us getting Katie Iris House working on Please welcome former Iris House board member, 
and founder of the National Black Leadership Commission on AIDS, Deborah Frazier Howes. Introduction. 
and for your friendship. Thank you. And to the family of Iris House, I wish you a happy 25th anniversary. And I congratulate you.
Anybody here try? Yeah, I can't either. And I'm glad you're here. You're welcome. And thank you. Thank you. So I want to tell you a little bit about our honoree. I'm wondering why I got this mask on top of my head. We put it where it needs to be. Because it is cold. A little bit about how I feel about Mark, then uh, I'll tell you a little bit about who he is, and then how much he means to Iris House. Are you all with me? So Mark, I want to say to you, I cannot express my profound gratitude of your leadership in our community. It's almost ironic that we're at a masquerade party, because I have never known you to wear a mask. And all the years that I've known you have been the same, the day in, the day out. And I suspect in the next 25 years, when we are honoring you again, you will still be the same humble, joyous man that I am. So thank you for everything you've done. That's, that's for me personally. Thank you. So Mark Meacham is Head of External Affairs at Beef Health North America. He is a skilled advocate, strength, and valued member of the HIV community. You know, this microphone makes no voice sound. I think I'm taking it away. Meacham has been a part of the fight against HIV AIDS for nearly a decade. He is dedicated to creating sustainable programs with the community, focusing on education and access to care for all people living with HIV, and that is so true. As head of external affairs for North America at Vive Healthcare, Mark directs all external and internal U.S. communication and public relation activities. He has designed and launched initiatives to address the unmeet needs those populations disproportionately impacted by this disease. He has also, and one of those initiatives is the Positive Action for Women. Yay! Yeah. As you know, Iris House is one of the grantees. The Accelerate Initiative and the Young Scholars Program with the National Minority AIDS Council. Yes, we should applaud them, but this, this, this is really also important is that he was recognized in 2016 as one of the heroes in the struggle by the Black AIDS Institute and received the Angel Award from GMA. Here in New York, right? Yes. He is also a member of NASA's, I may have said that wrong, I'm sorry, Black Gay Men's Hall of Fame. With more than two day, decades of experience in the pharmaceutical industry, Mark has held leadership roles in various positions across commercial development, marketing, and communications. He earned a BA in French language. No, you didn't. I need you to talk French to me. <laughs> I'm going to tell you how much he means to Iris House. Will you allow me to do that, please? Okay, give me a second, Michael. I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> Okay, so we highlighted that V prior as GSK has supported Iris House for over 20 years. They have helped to ensure programs for women and minority populations have been supported in New York, New Jersey, and nationally. Mark and his team has implemented some innovative programs such as the one we talked about already, Positive Action for Women Grant Program, which has allowed Iris House to lead a national coalition of women organizations to reduce stigma and isolation among women living with HIV in the United States. Thank you, thank you very much. Mark has always demonstrated interest in the communities and the people in those communities. And I know that he will continue to do so over the next 25 years. Thank you, my brother. We appreciate you so much. Thank you so much, Vanessa. And um, I just want to say that I'm really here for one reason. Thank you so much for the honor, but I am the 
team of Eve Healthcare are here to lift up and do what we can to support Ingrid and the staff of Iris House, sorry I'm losing my voice, um, and the board in the work that they do to support women and children and men, so the entire family in communities of color in New York and New Jersey. And just one comment I want to make on that work that I'm particularly impressed about is the work that they're doing now to form virtual communities. As our communities are increasingly displaced in New York and in Washington, D.C., where I live, it's so important to be able to reach people where they are as they're leaving the city centers. So thank you, Iris House, for behind you 100 percent Thank you for us. Some quick photos there. The band is going to come back on, and so we want you to enjoy. 